What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be talking about Roth IRAs and Roth IRAs I believe are the easiest way to become a millionaire uh, in my opinion and uh, a common way that a lot of people do become millionaires. And what are Roth IRAs? Well Roth IRAs are tax advantage accounts um, that you invest in for retirement. Um, and the idea behind it is that you pay taxes on that money now, but when you pull it out later when you retire, you don't have to pay taxes on it, which is great for people who anticipate that, you know, they'll be making more money later down the road and will be thus in a higher tax bracket. For example, if you're, let's say, 25 years old, you just started your career, you're probably going to be in a lower tax bracket right now and you'd rather pay taxes on that money now than let's say when you retire at 59 or 60 where you might be making a lot more money, maybe you'll be higher up in your career, you'll get some promotions or whatever, you'll most likely be in a higher um, tax bracket. So a Roth IRA would be a great uh, account for someone like you to have. And again, you don't have to pay taxes on that money later when you take it out because of course you've already paid taxes on it. On the other hand, if you are making a lot of money now and expect to be making less money when you retire at 59 or 60 or whenever that is later down the road, then a traditional IRA is probably uh, better for you. So the limits for Roth IRAs change every year, but as of April 2020, the limits if you are under 50 years old are six thousand dollars a year and if you are over uh, 50 years old then you can contribute up to seven thousand so unfortunately with Roth IRAs there are income limits so if you are single you can contribute if you are single and you make up to a hundred and thirty nine thousand you can contribute six thousand but if you make over a hundred and thirty nine thousand then you can't contribute to a Roth IRA you're ineligible and uh, for married couples, if you file as married, you can contribute as long as you make 206000 or less. If you make over that, then you can't contribute to a Roth IRA. The great thing about Roth IRAs is that when you invest the money, um, you can then put it into mutual funds, index funds, stocks, bonds, ETFs, all of that kind of stuff. So... Um, that's really great because when you invest that money, then you can invest it in things and it can continue to grow. Uh, a popular method is taking that money and investing it into an index fund, uh, which tends to grow pretty well. And then you would have money growing um, automatically with little to no effort at all. So with uh, with a Roth IRA, as many investments, especially retirement accounts, you don't want to pull out that money. So let's say you invest 5000 into a Roth IRA and that money grows and becomes 10000 You can take out your initial 5000 without any penalty. But if, let's say, you wanted to take out the full 10000 then you'd have to pay a 10% penalty plus tax. But that would defeat the purpose of investing. So, of course, you wouldn't want to take out the money unless it was a, an extreme emergency, a life or death type of situation, a financial hardship, you know, things of that nature. Otherwise, it's probably best to, you know, stay away from pulling that money out um, so it can continue to grow via compound interest. So that would be, a cor of course, a disadvantage um, is that you wouldn't be able to pull out all your money in the case of an emergency which you know is not recommended anyway but it's just just want to throw that out there another disadvantage um, is that the money is not tax deductible when you invest it you have to pay tax on the money and then you can put it in to the Roth IRA so unlike a traditional IRA where you know you can get the money tax deducted, um, a Roth IRA, it's not tax deductible um, in the beginning. But of course, the advantage to that is that when you pull it out way later, when you retire, you don't have to pay any taxes on it.
which in my opinion is best for most people because uh, especially if you're young you probably aren't making as much as you will later um, at least for me I know that I anticipate I'll be making more later so a Roth IRA is something that I would invest in and I believe um, a lot of people should be investing in it now uh, if you're wondering where you can uh, you know open a Roth IRA uh, typically, people open open them with uh, brokerage accounts, so Fidelity, Vanguard, Charles Schwab, M1, uh, things like that. Um, it's best to just kind of look at the individual features of each uh, platform because they all have their pros and cons. Uh, but I know Fidelity and Vanguard are pretty popular, um, pretty easy to use, so I tend to recommend trying those. Um, so I just wanted to make this quick little video about uh, Roth IRAs, something I wish I had known about um, earlier, you know, um, so I think it's just great information to have out there. Um, and uh, as always, you know, please subscribe, please like this video, drop a comment down below, uh, leave any questions down below, and I'll be sure to answer them uh, and respond to any comments. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.